What is up guys, Corey here, and in today's video, we get to take a look at my TV and entertainment center. Cue the intro. Now stealing the show, I have a 65 inch 4K TV from LG. Model number UH6150 for those of you that are interested. So this is an IPS panel, which basically means you're getting great viewing angles from wherever you are sitting inside of the room. Now the TV is also incredibly sharp as well, and it's very affordable, coming in right at $1,000. So I was in the market for a 4K TV for probably about six months to a year time frame, something like that. And I saw this in a local Best Buy coming in at right about $1,000, whereas online it's about $1,100 to $1,200. And I said, screw it, you know what, I'm going to do it, I'm going to treat myself. And guys, I have not looked back since. Now to make everything nice and clean, I did go ahead and mount my TV to the wall. Now the mount is called the Mounted TV Stand. So this mount does swivel plus or minus 90 degrees, which is absolutely incredible considering the size of this TV. Now also it extends from the wall up to 17.3 inches, which is also insane. And it also does have a tilt feature up to 15 degrees. Now as for my audio is concerned, I have a soundbar and subwoofer from the company Vizio. Model number SB3821. Now with that said, I will be dropping all of the links to the items I'm mentioning in this video right in the description box. So if you want to check something out, go ahead and go right down there and do so. So a lot of great things about this furniture here. Of course, it's very affordable as most IKEA furniture is. It actually has a lot of storage options as well. So this time we're looking at the Most Storp collection. Now we get the wall shelf and then the TV unit as well. So as for my middle drawer here, this is where I'm gonna house most of my quick access items like my controllers or batteries, very simple stuff like that. Moving to the left side here, as you can see I have my printer and then a basket with different headphones and random nonsense. Now moving to the right drawer here, now this is where I'm gonna house all of my cables so I can keep everything nice and tidy. Now there's a few items here that just kinda make everything complete. Now for one, I have this salt lamp, which is controlled by the Atexity remote. Now for those of you that are unfamiliar with the Atexity remote, basically you can control any outlet in your house with this remote. So all you do is you plug this little piece in here right into the wall and then plug whatever you want to control with the remote right into that and then you are good to go. Now as for the other devices that make up my entertainment center here, I have an Amazon Echo Dot second generation. For gaming, I have an Xbox One along with an Xbox 360. Fuck you, Sony. And I actually do have a Philips Hue light strip as well, which I can control with Alexa. And for those of you that know, I am crazy obsessed with fake plants. Now I have a couple fake plants from Ikea here, along with a couple fake plants from TJ Maxx. So that about does it for my TV and entertainment system area. Now I hope you guys enjoyed this video, it was a ton of fun to make. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them right down below. And all of the items that I mentioned in this video will be right in that description box for you, waiting to be clicked. Now, go ahead and smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace!